once COVID had come and there was a shutdown, you know, we had reached out to the ministry and said, look, the train is already running, this equipment is ordered, we can't back out now. Um, it should be coming in anywhere between 10 to 12 months later, you know, would we have problems? And they said, look, you're giving us enough time, notice, mm -hmm. we'll, you know, once the, uh, uh, the process has been established, uh, you know, this is what you have to do. And, and we basically followed it. So, I mean, this is something that was known, like I said, almost a year ago. Hadid says he is therefore surprised by what he calls the fuss over the exemptions. There are two parts of it. There's putting in the application and letting them know when these people will be coming in. Because we knew, like I said, almost a year ago, that these people will have to come in around December or January. And they said, look, once you know when that time is coming closer, I don't, I don't think you could put in an application 10 months in advance. Um, so they said, you know, once you come into a certain window and you line up the ducks with the right. hotels and we told the hotels when they're coming, because you have to have hotels and flights. So this was a, pro a full coordination. So there's a difference between when the application had gone in and when they were first informed because you can't put these things in one year in advance. The Blue Water CEO says he is disappointed that his business matter had become a political one and believes it is being driven by political mischief. We know business has to continue. I know the ministers, and they had said earlier clock that um, exceptions will be made for the oil and gas and for manufacturing um, because that's the lifeblood of the country. Um, so, you know, I'm a little, and, and, I, and I think the opposition knows this. So I think it just being a little bit mischievous on their part, but it just happened to be my, my company's name that got called this time. It could have been anybody. Minister Young has reportedly said that diplomats are not the only ones allowed entry into the country. He is quoted as saying that he works with the private sector to ensure that economic activity continues. Renuka Singh, CNC3 News.